I will program an outdoor mini split control board that is showing a problem. So first, let me show you what the problem is in this mini split unit. That way, you'll understand the problem and why I'm going to program it. See, the indoor unit is working at the 17 degrees temperature. Ten minutes later. See, after 10 minutes, the F4 error started appearing on display. The blower fan motor is also working, as it started after the error shows. And sometimes, starts before the error is shown. The lights are also blinking, which are mounted on display. This light is the run light of the display. Let's count how many times this light is blinking. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 times. This light on the right corner is continuously glowing, which is the start light of the display. I can see the issue on the outdoor control board as well. The light of the outdoor control board is continuously blinking. Normally it blinks slowly, but when the compressor and the fan start. Then this light gets stable. So let's check what this issue is. This mini split unit is from Idea Company. The PCBs on the table are the same, and both will show the same problem. Some other electronic guy has already worked on this PCB. And he has removed an IC from the PCB board. The IC number is 103, as you can see. When I searched what the number of the IC is, I found that this is an EEPROM. So EEPROM needs to be included. That's why it is showing an F4 error. I checked the IC number on this PCB board. IC number 103 is written on this PCB board as well. And this is how I found the missing part or component name. I already have the EEPROM files for this control board, so I will write those files, in a new empty EEPROM. And install that new EEPROM in this PCB board, and check whether this PCB works or not. Now I am in front of the computer screen to program a new EEPROM. The number of the EEPROM I am going to program is 24C16, and the package of the IC is a DIP, as I don't have a surface mount IC. So let's program it. I have two programmers right now. See, this is an RT89F programmer. Other than this, I also program ICs on this programmer. This programmer is from Stager and has model number versus 4800. It is also named V-Speed as well. Now I am installing the IC inside the programmer. And now I am on the computer screen. First of all, I am opening the iFix program. This pop-up is shown on the screen, and I will have to wait for a few seconds. The main program of the software has been opened. The serial number of the programmer is shown in the software. Now I will click and run the Smart Identify Smart ID. When we run the Smart Identify, the software shows that IC installed in the programmer is 16 kilobytes. And the IC is empty. So now I will open a program to install in the IC. I already have the files to be installed in the IC for this PCB. As you can see, I already have the EEPROM files for the Mydea air conditioner. I have selected it, and I will click on the open. And directly, I will click on the right button. This way, the program files are copied into the EEPROM. Now the IC is ready to be installed on the PCB board. So as you can see, I have installed the IC on the PCB as the package of the IC is DIP. Installing DIP on SMD is a difficult task but not impossible, as I have made it possible. Let me show you the IC from another position by rotating the PCB board. Now you can clearly see I have soldered it properly. It took a lot of effort soldering this DIP IC. So give this video a thumbs up. Now I have installed the PCB control board with the outdoor to test it. Now I am confirming that this is the same PCB in which I had installed the DIP EEPROM IC. I have passed electricity through the PCB. You notice that the blink of the light is now slow. The compressor and the fan will start in a few minutes. One minute later. And see, after a few minutes of waiting, the compressor and the fan started working and the compressor is consuming 2.4 amperes of current. And the unit is running without refrigerant, as it is empty from the refrigerant. So, guys, we have successfully repaired this mini split air conditioner unit control board. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.